Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is Create a Fold, and I'm going to be sharing a double opening card. This was shared uh, during a recent team uh, challenge, and if you uh, checked out my blog, StampingWithLinda.com, yesterday you will see the card that inspired um this video. So let's go ahead and get started. I have already taken um, the Butterfly Brilliant Wings dies and I have cut out um, with the Purple Posy which is retiring cardstock out of this catalog. I have the larger butterfly cut out of the Gorgeous Grape and then a smaller butterfly. Then I have the Hydrangea Hill um, Mercury Glass Acetate. Now this is um, that gorgeous grape on one side and silver on the other. And I had this pack and I have not been using it, so I needed to bring that out. Then I have the Hydrangea Hill Designer Series Paper. I have two pieces of it. Uh, one measures... Um, four inches by five and a quarter and this one measures one and a quarter by five and a quarter then i have a piece of the purple posy this measures three and a quarter by three and a quarter and i have a piece four by of uh, five and a quarter. Next what I have is a piece of that gorgeous grape and this is three and a half by seven and I'm going to bring in my trimmer and we are going to score it in half at the three and a half inch mark. Next what we are going to do is bring in a piece of five and a half by 10 and this is in the Highland Heather and we are first going to score it at the one and a half inch mark and then we're going to slide it over to five and three quarter and then we are going to be ready to assemble our card. So we've got two folds here like so. So we've got our opening here. I'm going to grab that designer series paper and I'm going to take the inch and a quarter by five and a quarter. I'm going to add my adhesive to that, that designer series paper and then add that to my flap. So I'm going to add the bigger piece. You know what? I've got that upside down. I've got, I kind of want the pattern to match. So I've got the blue going up at the top. So we're just going to flip that around so the pattern kind of matches. I'm going to add that to the second opening of the card. going to grab that three and a half by seven and this part of the opening is going to be applied right here. So I'm going to go ahead and add some Stamp and Seal Plus just on the one edge, not too far out because I don't want it to overlap on this. So we've got like so. Now we're going to add that acetate to the front of the card like so. Because the acetate will show through your adhesive, I'm just going to use glue dots here and just put the glue dots on the more solid part of the acetate so that it won't um, show my adhesive. The acetate's lightweight, so four glue dots will hold that down, like so. We are then going to take, I'm just gonna go 
like so. We're going to take um, our gorgeous grape ribbon and we're gonna cut some ribbon because this is what's going to keep our card closed with a double opening. So we've got that. And I'm gonna add a dimensional. I think I'm gonna add a tall dimensional on top like so. I'm gonna find the middle of my ribbon. And lay it on top of like so. Now I'm going to assemble my butterfly. I'm going to use the smaller dimensionals in the down the body of that butterfly, and then we're going to put the outline butterfly on top of the solid one. Like so. I'm going to go over here and grab our pastel pearls and we are going to, let's add like a lavender one there for its head. Then I'm going to add another dimensional. Now there is a lot of layers to this card um, so we're going to have to pay extra postage anyway so we might as well get the depth of that butterfly. So we've got this. Now we're going to work on our inside pieces. First we're going to work on the three inch by three inch piece um, that goes in the inside and we are going to take the stamps from the hydrangea stamp set and we are going to stamp to an incredible woman. We are going to grab our gorgeous grape ink pad. I'm going to stamp that in the middle. And then there are some flowers in that hydrangea. Just a clump of flowers to look like the petals from that hydrangea. Now this makes for a nice border. We could have stamped our greeting on a piece of designer series paper, but I like these flowers because I can randomly make my own border. And that is going to go on that first flap. Like so. We're going to take that smaller butterfly that we cut out with the uh, brilliant uh, wings and we are going to find a dimensional for that. Just a small one. Now I see that's a little bit wide so what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our small dimensionals and we're just going to cut. There's a a border around our dimensionals and that makes for a perfect way to get a smaller piece. I'm going to add that right about there. Next what we're going to do, we're going to go into our butterfly gems. Now these are on um, the clearance um, from this annual catalog so if you haven't gotten these little butterflies you need to get your hands on them. We've got the little butterflies going along there. We're going to go into the inside and we're going to take that four inch by five and a quarter purple posy, another stamp for the hydrangea, and it says the world is better because of you. I'm going to stamp that. We're also going to go in and do a border with that small cluster of flowers. This is just a fun stamp, not only for a hydrangea card, but any card to kind of decorate that inside. Stamp that around. 
I think this is the first night I have ever done videos after 8 o'clock. Those of you that know me know I am a morning person and not a night person. But today, for some reason, I am taping at night. My complex is usually quiet during the day, so that I usually find that I'm doing my videos in the morning instead of night, but it's it's quiet tonight, so perfect time for me to do those videos. So there we have our double opening card. I'm just going to, I won't tie this first so you can see. So here is the first opening to an incredible woman, and then it opens again. The world is a better place because of you. Now this would be a great Mother's Day card or just a girlfriend card, whatever, uh, for a special lady in your life. And we're just going to take that ribbon and tie it off on the side and that way it will hold that card closed. So there you have it, a beautiful card using that Hydrangea Hill um, suite. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.